Have you ever wondered if our world experiences reincarnation? In 1913, French mathematician Émile Borel proposed the infinite monkey theorem, suggesting that a monkey randomly hitting keys on a typewriter for an infinite time would eventually type all the books in the British Museum. This implies that elements within a finite set are bound to reappear in an infinite set. Does this mean every person we meet and every event we experience is a repeat? To answer this, we must look at the second law of thermodynamics. In 1865, Rudolf Clausius introduced entropy, arguing that in a closed system, things always move from order to disorder. Our phones get slower, clothes get dirtier. This increase in chaos is irreversible. A broken glass, no matter how well repaired, is never truly the same. This law implies the universe's heat death. As time progresses, all processes will cease and all life will be extinguished. The predicted end is bleak. In five billion years, our sun will swell, engulfing the inner planets. By 12 billion years, it will be a cooling white dwarf. Eventually, all stars will die. In 100 trillion years, the last star's glow will fade, leaving a universe of black holes. After an unfathomable 10 to the 100 years, the last black hole will evaporate, leaving only photons cooling toward absolute zero. When the final photon vanishes, the universe will enter a state of complete nothingness. Entropy will halt as disorder cannot increase further. Time itself will lose all meaning. This despairing conclusion was challenged by French mathematician Henri Poincaré. He proposed the Poincaré recurrence, theorizing that within a closed system, all particles must eventually return to a state very close to their original one. Imagine shuffling a new deck of cards. After countless shuffles, it becomes chaotic. But given infinite shuffles, it must eventually return to its original, perfect order. The universe's 10 to the 80 atoms are in constant motion. Given enough time, far exceeding the universe's current age, they must return to a past configuration. While this seems meaningless on our time scale, it offers a sliver of hope. If the universe's end is not heat death, but an infinite cycle, then every element that composed our bodies could, after an infinite age, be reassembled. We only know that the sweat and tears, the people loved, and everything lost may eventually find their way back in the cycle.